biometrics are here to stay. Increasingly used by institutions, companies and agencies of the state to verify or establish people's identities and to customise services. Your face or thumbprint can unlock your phone and its apps, while biometric data are used in criminal investigations. Put simply, biometrics are body measurements related to human characteristics. Some are developmental and permanent, such as our fingerprints and DNA profile. Others are behavioural and transient, like the way we walk and our social behaviour. And some are physiological snapshots, such as your heart rate. Biometrics vary according to their specificity. Some are random and unique to the individual, such as fingerprints. Others are random but non-unique, allowing for partial matches to be made to close relatives, such as DNA and faces. And some are non-unique and non-random, such as skin colour or spoken accent. When biometric data is sampled, either individually or en masse, we talk about a biometric sampling event. These events may capture data that is private, confidential, personal or in a special category, such as that relating to our gender, ethnicity or health. The location of biometric sampling events varies widely. They can occur within public or specific private places, such as fingerprints taken at a police station or facial recognition used at passport control. Biometric sampling events may be categorised using a simple structure called a taxonomy, which shows how individual elements are related by their similarities and differences. This avoids misleading comparisons being made. These events must have a clear purpose. Nobody should collect biometric data without justification and the required notification, and they differ with regard to the subject's awareness and the need for people's explicit agreement. Our increasing reliance on technology and the growing ubiquity of biometrics make it desirable that we all understand their benefits and consequences. Biometrics are here to stay. <laughs>